and the dating pool is just getting really shallow. Mm. Um, actually, so shallow, I'm in repeats. <laughs> that. What does like, that mean? <laughs> <laughs> is this a Samantha Jones moment where you're like, I've been with you before? <laughs> this is, yes. <laughs> Forty-year-old rode the carousel so much, she started taking previous rides for seconds. Women recycle the same men. Welcome to Management Highlights Daily. For this episode, we go back to the Drew Barrymore show. Yesterday, we highlighted the dating struggles of the 24-year-old, and today, we're going to highlight the dating struggles of the 40-year-old, basically giving the 24-year-old a glimpse of the future. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do, because we men and we... We men and we. According to a report from Tinder, Gen Z has changed the future of dating with their new interest in digital dates. And Demona, do you agree that digital dates are here to stay? Definitely. And I also agree that they're not just for Gen Z. Everyone is adopting digital dating because obviously you kind of had to. Yeah. I agree that online dating is here to stay, but that doesn't mean that it works. It definitely does not work in men's favor because the majority of men get rejected on these dating apps. It opened up a plethora of options for women. But these videos prove that all these choices don't work in a woman's favor either, especially when they get older. As you can see, the hostess of this show is Drew Barrymore and she hit the, the wall. wall. She's been married three times and her last ex-husband got married to a woman almost 10 years younger than him this year. She even looks better than Drew Barrymore in her prime. That's something that men can do because we don't hit the wall like that. And our wallets grow bigger with age. So we increase in value. And that's my next point. Check this out. Well, let's chat with two women of different ages looking to better their online dating game. Please welcome Amy and Allison. Amy and Allison kind of represent their future and past selves. Despite their age difference, they still have the same problems when it comes to dating. Their attitude towards dating doesn't change. And I wonder, does Allison, the 24-year-old, look at the 40-year-old Amy and think to herself, I've got to do better than this. I can't make the same mistakes because I will end up exactly like her. I doubt it. Because when you look at our video of the quote unquote ex unicorn, she talks about her friends telling her things will be harder after college and she doesn't take it seriously. Check this out. When I was a senior, I had a friend who was older than me who had already graduated and she was telling me like, enjoy this time. Once you graduate, it's going to be so much harder to meet people and to date and to just hook up. Enjoy it like you have all these people around you. And when you graduate, everyone's gonna spread out and you're not gonna be by people you know. Like you're really gonna have to meet strangers in order to have some type of connection or to just to feel something, you know? I didn't believe her. I was like, oh, you're just exaggerating. Like you're just not putting yourself out there. Like it's fine. And then I graduated. Oh my God, you're not wrong. Like the information, the end results are all there. But apparently, they are not able to make adjustments to that Cinderella syndrome that they have. They will wait forever for Prince Charming. So Amy, tell me what's going on in your dating life. Well, I'm exhausted. I've got the digital burnout. Um, I dated really, really heavily in my 20s and my 30s. And I've been on the apps all of that time. On the apps and the hot, hot dog, dog carousel. carousel. That's why you're exhausted. Speculation, speculation. But like I've said before, she's a future representation of Allison. She is 40 years old right now and she's been doing this for 20 years. These women get attention. It's not that men are not interested. And the dating pool is just getting really shallow. Mm. Um, actually, so shallow, I'm in repeats. <laughs> that, what does like, that mean? <laughs> <laughs> is this a Samantha Jones moment where you're like, I've been with you before. <laughs> This is, yes. You rode that big hot dog carousel so many times that you've experienced all of the hot dogs on that carousel leading to the point that you had to start back at one? You can't make this up. For the people that don't know who Samantha Jones is, let's highlight this real quick. Oh my God, you're doing tequila shots? You see that buddy over there? 
I f him. See that buddy over there? <laughs> I f him too. <laughs> I never thought I'd see them again. Samantha Jones is the promiscuous character from the Sex and the City series, and in most episodes, she will smash. As a woman, you don't want to be compared with her. Hot Dog Carousel is no longer speculation, it's officially confirmed. And the fact that she gets back with the same men signals that she's looking for the same guys every time. They will always tell on themselves guys. She says the dating pool became shallow. No, you are shallow. That's why you only see the same guys. It doesn't matter if a woman is a tree, she will still look for a guy that's above average looking and she probably got some hot dog from one of those Chads or Tyrones. And now she feels that that's what she deserves. Chads don't discriminate. In 2016, I went out with this guy and it didn't, you know, it didn't go well. We didn't really hit it off. And then in 2019, I went out with the same guy and we didn't realize that we'd been out with each other until we were halfway through the date. What? I don't believe this shit. How in the blue hell can you forget who you've been dating? This hot dog carousel must be in the Guinness Book of Records. How many dicks does it take for you to get amnesia? Um, when you did realize it, can I ask what you guys said or did? Um, I think we just said, uh, <laughs> and then we just continued. We just continued on our on our date, and we we ended up having a good time the second time around. I guess you got seconds. No. Yeah, Demona, how do I keep dating fun? Because right now mm. it's kind of a drag. I'm just I'm exhausted. How do how does this stay yeah. fun? I hear that burnout, and I. What I see here is by having so many options, it actually brings up anxiety. It takes the fun out of it, right? Yeah. And it makes you not want to do it anymore. These options, these choices are messing women up. Millions of women are on antidepressants or take some form of mental health medication. This is deep, man. Modern society is not working for females. They can't be satisfied. Back in the housewife days, they would talk about the problem that has no name. And that problem only got worse in modern times. Women didn't become happier with all of these options. It's the other way around. So I'm gonna give you some advice that may be a little counterintuitive. Okay. I'm gonna have you pull back. How many hours a day would you say you spend on your dating? Um, probably two or three. Fuck out of here. Three hours? Three hours a day? I'm gonna say it again. Most women are boring. They go to work. And then they come home and it's social media. And then they act like they're busy texting you 15, 20 minutes later after you text them. When you get into a relationship with them, it all becomes clear how boring they are. Waiting for you to make something happen. Cinderella syndrome. Three hours a day sounds more like an addiction. When she finds a boyfriend, she will still go on those freaking apps to get her daily dose of attention. Well, if you are on the apps for that much time, you're, nothing's gonna look good to you anymore. Right. So I want you to limit the time that you're spending on apps. I'm gonna give you 15 minutes a day. That's okay. it. Because that All will right. force you to make a choice and not just keep swiping and looking for the next best thing. And the other thing I want you to try is something I call cycling. So this is when you start on one dating app, take all of the other apps off your phone and spend okay. four to six weeks on that one app and then after four to six weeks, you can go to another app and then you get boosted in the algorithm because you're new. Everyone you see there is, is new and shiny. You can get really excited again. And that cycling gives you a fresh perspective and new options that you might not have seen before. What do you think about the dating coach's advice? I'm very curious. Force your opinion in the comment section. We really appreciate it because we learn so much from you guys. Thank you for your support. Manosphere, we work in. Protect yourselves at all times. This video has officially been highlighted! highlighted.